There's a growing feeling in Washington that diplomatic efforts should go on, but that Argentina must be made aware that if war breaks out, the United States will firmly back the British. Today, the U.S. Secretary of State Alexander Haig briefed the Senate Foreign Relations Committee on the status of the negotiations. Senator Joseph Biden was at that briefing. He's a Democratic senator who is sponsoring a resolution in support of Great Britain. Based on your briefings with Alexander Haig, how do you right now rate the chances of a diplomatic solution? Well, I think the, uh, the Secretary of State uh, uh, was accurate and his assessment of it uh, was very tenuous. Uh, I'd rather not comment on what it was a secret briefing and uh, uh, what in fact the Secretary indicated uh, were the stages of uh, negotiations at this point, except to say that they're ongoing and the administration is hopeful. It's very pertinent what you're being told, you see, because we see the Senate trying to, to perhaps get more involved on the British side. Doesn't well, that depend on how you rate the chances of an imminent diplomatic breakthrough? Well, not really. I believe that, uh, that my resolution, which clearly calls for us to state whose side we're on, which is the British side, uh, will in fact, I believe, aid the negotiating process, not diminish the chances of negotiation. I think the Argentinians must be disabused of the notion, assuming they harbor it, that the United States is truly neutral in this matter. And uh, so I have no, uh, uh, no sense that uh, uh, my resolution calling on the United States Congress to go on record in support of the British would be anything other than helpful. Senator, how do you think it would be helpful? Because conceivably that might topple the Argentinian government. Is that acceptable to you? Uh, no, that is not acceptable in the sense that I wish for that. But the fact of the matter is there's a great deal at stake for the United States in the hemisphere. First of all, and for Canada, I might add very boldly, uh, the fact of the matter is that if we allow in this hemisphere the settlement of, uh, of claimants, uh, property disputes, uh, by the use of force, we're going to unleash an entire series of actions that none of us want. Secondly, NATO is an alliance upon which we have made a firm and solemn commitment. And it's clear that the Argentinians are the aggressor, it's clear the British are right, and it should be clear to the whole world where the United States stands. Are you mentioned hemisphere? atmospheric interests. Let's just stick to American interests at the moment. Yes. The OAS has voted that they recognize Argentinian sovereignty. Now, don't you lose something in he hemispheric relations with the proposition you've just made? There is no question that the United States is going to lose no matter what it does. The question is that we are going to lose, in my mind, we lose a great deal more by not standing on principle and not standing with our oldest and closest ally and not standing with the alliance that is most important to the United States of America. Could you tell me quickly how you rate Soviet actions lately in helping Argentina if, if you're not also giving them a whole new opening in Latin America? Negligible. Uh, I believe that Soviet actions are negligible. Their capabilities are limited in the area. There is no evidence that the Soviets are, in fact, making any major moves to, uh, uh, to move anywhere into the hemisphere. Would uh, you be sorry to see the Galtieri Punta toppled? I would be sorry to see the situation change in such a way that there would in fact be an increased prospect of, uh, of uh, Soviet and or uh, communist influence in the hemisphere. But I'd even be more sorry if we dashed what is already a fragile and very uh, tenuous situation with regard to NATO and NATO solidarity.